Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Joe. Welcome back to SNES's Life. Today, Illusion of Gaia, only for the Nintendo, it says. Free Nintendo Power Explorer Handbook Inside, which is good, because my guess is you need it, right? So, I felt like I remembered this game from when I was a kid, but upon looking at the manual, I'm not sure I do. Uh, I thought it was a JRPG, and I suppose it has JRPG likeness to it but from the manual it sounds a lot more like secret of mana so i don't know that i ever played it but we're gonna play it tonight box cover looks great it looks very standard though for you know that era of jrpg kind of like here's a planet or a really pretty picture or something like they all kind of had a standard look especially this is i think an enix game so you know they, they were pretty good about keeping things in a standard visual appearance. Radiating ominous light. Three players can save their journeys. Battery backup. 60 hours of gameplay. Yeah, that sounds like a JRPG, doesn't it? But over on the right, you got you fighting a devil, you climbing some rocks, and I can't even tell what that bottom right picture is. Straight from the President's Empire, the Illusion of Guy Explorers Handbook is included free. So, I mean, hey, that's something. And I'm intrigued, actually, whether that is part of the manual. Because as we get to it, there's the manual. <laughs> the Explorer's Handbook. So I guess that is the manual. And what's nice is you get your manual. It's about 20 pages, I think, of of kind of the game itself but it's an 80 page manual and what's really great is after you dig through all of this and get to the back the explorer's guide warning caution don't turn the page so i i kind of glanced at it and this thing basically walks you through the game which is not something that you got very often just included with the game you know and i didn't really go through it because hell i wasn't going to remember it anyway but I'm going to leave it open and I may end up looking at things. <laughs> I like that it's definitely got some JRPG trappings as far as like, you know, talk to everyone and everything and search stuff and collectibles and different powers and different team members and such. But I don't, I don't know that other people actually come with you to fight and your attack seems to be an active attack, according to the manual. Again, not necessarily what I was expecting. Hey, Benji, what's up? How are you this evening? What are you up to? Enix. You have any history with Illusion of Gaia? Gaia? Heard it pronounced both ways, Gaia and Gaia. Maybe it's Gaia. Attack, item cancel, item palette. Let's kick this off. Good here, just got done eating some dinner. Now watching some NBA. Oh, you know, same old, same old. Just finished watching the dogs. Watching. Walking the dogs. <laughs> the Tower of Babel. It's definitely got that sprite... You know, that Final Fantasy-ish, the Secret of Mana-ish, Chrono Trigger-ish look to it. It's, it was 80 here today, but just like you said, it's supposed to get cool again next week. How's it going, Shankus? Welcome in. How are you tonight?
It's a weird save spot. Didn't go. Very good. How's it going? Not too bad. Just getting started. You have any experience with Illusion of Gaia? and his dad's an alcoholic. Oh yeah, I played it years ago. I thought I'd played it, man, but I don't think I have. search everybody's houses to take their stuff. Definitely have the biggest house in town. Uh, 
<laughs> That's what she said. Get out the way, move! Get out the way, get out the way! Why is there a pig? Oink oink! My grandma's been turned into a pig! Princess. Well, excuse me, princess.
Sorge. I think she has a pet pig. Sounds awful. Here I'm building half the pie. Take a trip around. She's the hotness. Wee. How much can we get? Bring the crystal of cream. Every castle. Precursor to Ocarina. Never heard of it. Never really like that much. Who else is here? It's a French thing. <laughs> Send me the castle. Just we'll be careful. I was about to say, you gotta let me out, homie. Where do you go? Edward's castle. Oh, that's kind of, I mean, mode seven. It's nice that you don't actually have to walk around the world like a JRPG, though. It just quick travels you there. I'm a fan of that concept. You're damn right. So far, I'm going to make two more. What if I don't? I do have a couple red jewels chilling. Bo staff. Donatello.
get out. King is the douchebag. How about the queen first? Talk to him. <laughs> oh. So it's gonna be a weasel in prison. Find the ring. <laughs> Bunk. Straight to prison with you. Man. <laughs> Talk to me like that, peasant boy. Ugh. <laughs> I have to suffer so. I have say welcome to jail he raised the red jewel and jewels five jewelry gems in a single ray of light whoop shit I think I just lost a jewel ah yeah I did Here's the red jewel. Red jewels fly jewels down the same way away. It comes from a hole in the ceiling and stays right on the bread. Must drink water. Let's say some of the bread. The bread's hard. It's the worst thing. I don't know, dude. Grandma made snail pie. That sounds pretty foul. I drifted off to sleep. My flute is alive. This is your father. Lu flute. I am your father. Sure, where are you? Let me save me. Left hand wall. There. Now you're like a terrible thing. Pick up the stone. Your enemy left the crystal. Figure out that you must make it before the room. The statue is closed against the crystals. The ink and ruin. So, I'm confused. Pig! A letter and a key. What do I have to say? I'm a prisoner. Prison is so real. You have the key! Really, I have to select the key? Like, you can't just be like, hey, 
The key is in your inventory. Can you home skillet? Because you're just kind of chilling there. But I might as well free you. Oh, darkness. The dark world! If all the enemies in an area, you'll get a jewel that increases your ability. Let's see locations of your enemies. Find the demons. Defeat them. Might as well. Smoke, son. Increased. Jewel up here. Yeah. Damn, sucker. Okay, so I can kill things in the water, but it doesn't actually seem to do anything for me. Doo -doo -doo. Well, the combat system's simple enough. Back, little eyeball. I would like to murder you. Strength. Sucker. Kind of crappy I can kill the things in the water but can't pick up what they drop.
Defense. Ouch! Damn, there's a shiny silver dark gem up here. If you collect a hundred of these, you gain life. Let's go back very far. Well, that's always convenient. A red jewel. Like one of these bros to give me a heart, man. Ouch! Switch on the right hand wall. Yeah. Go on, let's push the switch on the other side. Don't make a mistake. Oh. Push the switch, a flower. Next to you. Record. Your voice is on. Let's go on. Freedom. And this is where I get a shape change into these other characters. Freedom's a pimp knight. He's like, what's up?
sucker. Stingy with health. Killed everybody now, I guess. <laughs> Apparently. Me. I'm protected by the flower spirit. Yes, it does. It's made of snails. Mm. Yeah, so that's the little flower. Got a copy of the guy game. I don't even know what the hell the guy game is. I assume it's... I assume it's something... I don't know. Poorly on the politically correct scale. Full of boobs and the like. The guy game. An adult video game. Shocking. Ah, it's... That was on PlayStation 2, huh? Well, I'm collecting for the PS2. <laughs> interesting. Basically, just looks like Girls Gone Wild. And Xbox. <laughs> That's kind of a. I don't know. Politically incorrect would be the, the simple term for it, I guess. Princesses around, which I think was up. Let's take care of the princess. Bam! What up, babe? Delicious. Power. Let's dash, sucker. 
We. I do like that they added a run ability in this game. A lot of RPGs do not have that. This definitely doesn't feel like just generic RPG either. You can go to the cellar with me. Is that where I just came up from? <laughs> Now I found stuff. A large yummy roast of yak. Let's go for the soldiers find us. Dashing out. Chaga. Shout. Near your house and worry about your grandparents. They hurry to will. Thus far, not a bad game, actually. I expected it to be much more JRPG style than it is. It is a lot more Secret of Mana, almost Link to the Past-ish style. Yeah, I agree, that is good. I can't stand JRPGs. <laughs> the concept of it having 60 hours of content in it is the odd though. But it is an, an Enix game, so I guess it's not unexpected. Who would do such a thing? Don't go upstairs. They're dead. Smoked. I got him. In other words, go talk to people because something's going to occur. guess is no one's actually going to say much different other than if I go down to I bet my friends are in the cave again. Hey look there they are. Okay, so maybe I can't talk to my friend? Figure there has to be something else. She told me to talk to people.
Where's that gem dude at? There he is. Jewel of gem. I have only three of the red jewels for you. Collect them more. You get the herb. Give you jewels. I have five jewels. You collect over five jewels. Come on, let's see your defense power will be raised. Cool. So what the hell does the herb do? Restores strength. See if Gaia says anything to me, save the game, and then go leave, I guess. I guess. She had nothing for me. Got some magic. Marsupial pie. Just say I found a red jewel. I wasn't even. I don't hit the button so fast.
He's right, I was surprised. Ink and ruins. Not ready to open up for him yet, I guess. Kind of picky about where I go down the hill, I guess. going good evening how are you enjoying this one it's probably so well hi sorry you can't stay and thus far it's pretty okay i'm not usually a fan of jrpg stylish games but this isn't really jrpg it's more action rpg so i'm all right with it thus far it, it definitely i mean it's made by enix so it definitely looks like a jrpg uh and it feels like a jrpg until you get to like combat is an action oriented deal Yeah, I can't stand JRPG. I just don't like grinding, man. It drives me nuts. Uh, so where's the flower garden? He's in the flower garden. He's very old and very wise. Didn't really uh, tell me where to go, though. Psycho Dash. Psycho Dash. You smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. Attack button. Okay, sure. I can destroy it. Just try to destroy it. More from Germany. Peace. How are you? Yeah. Illusion of time. Right on. Welcome in, Gaming Dojo. Yeah, I was just reading that the palette version was Illusion of Time. Good night, Michael. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in. Thus far, I'm, I'm on board with this game. I don't, uh... I don't know that it's necessarily the game that I would. Oh, I can't live without.
Can you start trying to these things or what the hell <clears throat> it's very hard the ask dreaming this time I mean I I thought I'd play this when I was a kid because it sounded so familiar but I definitely don't I definitely do not remember this. Like, not at all. Psycho dash thing. Press hold the A button until you get a flash release and you can smash obstacles. I mean, I'm trying to smash the obstacle. It doesn't want to smash. The t shirt. Oh, there it goes. Statue. Statue A. Like the old Nintendo RPGs games. Who got a heart? Yes. That's. I like how the old games came with stuff too. I wish I had any of that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I sure don't. Like I know, uh, was it? Earthbound came in like a big box with like a really nice magazine and a bunch of other stuff. Earthbound is something. Well. Statue on the Larry Cliff below. Larry Cliff below. Beth cannot reach. The winds in the valley will lead you to the gold ship. So the moon trap has one more. I don't really got you there. Be careful. Sugar! Hydration. Strategy guy. I thought I came with a t-shirt too, but I'm probably wrong on that, I suppose. I mean, you would likely know better than me. Curious how long this game actually takes to beat. Like, I know the back of the box is like 60 hours. Doesn't mean it takes 60 hours. Main story. 
Cold, 54. Average, 13, 6. Uh, 13 hours isn't terrible, I guess. I don't know that I'm willing to put 13 hours into it myself. <laughs> Looks like the average people say 34, honestly. Uh, or maybe that's the number of people polled on that particular site. I don't know. What I do know is it is 9 o'clock. And that means I'm done for the night. So, we're going to... Is there a shadow plane up here to save somewhere? Nope. <laughs> there is a, a continuation of the story, though. I mean, you look like ghosts to me, home skillet. seconds I'll give you the statue well obviously I wasn't gonna get that done in 20 seconds good grief I didn't even know where the hell the enemies were. <clears throat> Try again. Alright, so yeah, since there's obviously not a save point here, we're just going to save Scummit. And that's it. Um, I don't know. I like the graphics. It's cute. It's, you know, feels very of the age. Music's solid. The sound effects are okay, I guess. I like the action RPG elements of it and the fact that there is obviously a, a narrative, a story. It feels almost a little too simple, which isn't terrible. I like that I don't have to like equip items and armor and weapons. It's It feels like Super JRPG light. Like Secret of Mana kind of played like this, but also you had the whole ring system and the items and armor and equipment that you had to deal with and I don't think that's going to be a part of this game so I feel like this is probably more up my uh, up my alley uh, after an hour here I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up tentative I like thumbs up it feels like a game I would be willing to play and maybe I will play it more later I don't know I haven't decided yet but it's definitely not terrible and it's a lot better than uh, a lot of other games of the era to me as far as like the JRPG-ishness of it goes since it's not actually JRPG-ishness um, I mean I guess technically anything from Japan is an RPG is JRPG right but it doesn't have that uh, turn-based system and, and grinding element which I am all for because screw that but that's going to be it for tonight guys uh, let's see it's Wednesday Saturday night I'll well, Saturday night, what do we got? Blackthorn, Mario's Early Years, with letters, and Kid Clown. I don't know what Kid Clown is. I'll tell you what. Saturday, I'll do Mario's Early Years. It'll be an awful game, because it's a, you know, an edutainment game for little kids. But I'll play it, and I won't feel bad about being done with it early. And since I don't currently have a Saturday night game, I'll put some more time into Illusion of Guy. i see what I think of it as I get a little further in. So, 
uh, Gaming Dojo, Micheletter, Shankus, Benji. Guys, thanks for coming in and hanging out this evening. I appreciate you all. We will see you on Saturday night. Everybody watch us on YouTube or VOD later. Thank you. I appreciate you guys too. Have a good one. Adios and all that nonsense. Thank you.